welcome to my channel if you're not know welcome back i'm ashley michelle we just jumping right into this because i didn't even give myself time these are all of the dyes that i'm using i'm getting the custom color this is not my custom color this is the color that i saw aob craft do here on youtube so i wanted to try it on my little skunk stripe wig so this is everything that i'm using those three dyes these gloves a bowl and an application brush um the gloves so everything stays clean and safe because i really don't want my hands to be staying green yellow and brown Mm -mm. And you're also going to need some paper towel to test the color. So this is about how much of the green I put in. Um, if you guys are going to be trying this look, I suggest you, you know, add in little by little. So, yeah, that's just my little bit of advice. I didn't really add too much yellow. Like, my green to yellow ratio was very low. Heck, at, most of it was green, obviously, because I wanted a green shade. Like, I wanted a shade of green but i added in more hunter green than anything truth be told um i only added in a tiny tiny bit of yellow but this is my color without any of the brown so i definitely needed to add the brown because i was going for more of a foresty it went all over the floor but i needed more of a foresty type of color so yeah but i eyeballed most of this and the color came out amazing so this is really just like trial and error so the first green that really bright one I didn't want and then there is the second green with a lot of the brown in there but I went back and just added more of the green and a little tiny bit of the yellow um just to balance it out because I, I didn't feel like I added in too too much brown but I wanted it more I don't know balance so the difference between the colors isn't that different but that for sure wasn't the color I was going for at all and this one was close but that was the color that I absolutely wanted if you can't see a difference in the shades I don't know what to tell you <laughs> but I can definitely see a difference so this is the wig from my skunk stripe video I'm pretty sure you can already tell if you have not watched it, I'm gonna link that in the cards right now it was a nice beautiful video so here I'm just gonna take my blonde pieces and I'm just gonna apply that dye all over um, yeah and i'm just gonna let you guys watch that oh before i you know shut up though if you are dying hair any hair make sure you're going in between parting it make sure you're pulling the hairs apart you don't want any splotchiness no patchiness you want a nice clean seamless dye job okay you have to do this this is imperative okay all right <music> done applying all of the dye with the brush i just took a little bit on my hand just to make sure that i got those hairs in the front without really getting the lace um i am proud to say that i did not stain any lace green and i also used some dye on my fingers to get the baby hairs that i had dyed blonde because we don't want to be techy nail just blonde baby hairs with forest green hair do better <music> Oh, 
Okay, so now after all of my dye is on and I'm, you know, content with how it looks and my placement, that's the color up close. It was super duper cute. It was like a Hulk green, very much. So I let this sit overnight. This is the next day. I actually had to go somewhere and I ran super, super late because, you know, I wanted to film. This, this channel is definitely priority over my life. But yes, this is how the color came out. This is like, it, I air dried a little bit, but it was still wet, but the color had air dried. I had rinsed it out. Like I said, this was the next day. So now, really, really quickly, I am just gonna blow dry this hair. Yeah, giving it a nice Dominican brush, fresh blowout. I'm getting so comfortable on camera. Like I'm just sitting there in my meeks, child. Uh, just comfortable, having a good life, you know? Then the mannequin head kept moving. And y'all know when y'all was younger, we didn't play none of that. These mannequins getting out of line, okay? You sit still. I don't know if y'all had that Brett's, you know, mannequin here, but when she moved, she got hit. So that's what happened to this one. And I know she learned because she ain't moved not one more time. I'm really stupid. There's something wrong with me. Anyways, after I blew out the hair, it looks really good. Oh, look at that. So this is me. Don't mind anything around me. Yeah, you focus on me, okay? Don't worry about my pillows. You focus on me. So I'm taking this NARS foundation in the shade Macau, and I'm just going to put that all over my lace because I did wash this wig, so I'm going to retint the lace. So I'm just doing a really, really, really quick glueless install. It wasn't really this quick. It actually took me a minute. That's why I was late. But I'm doing a glueless install. Um, as you saw, I used my Got To Be Freeze Blast, and I just blow dried it just a little bit so it got tacky, and I stuck down the majority of my lace. Um... I don't really think I need to do an in-detail glueless install video if you want me to, of course. But I don't think I need to. But here, I'm just going back, and I'm just sticking down, like, mainly the perimeter. Like, yeah. And then I was on the phone, y'all. That's what really, like, you know, messed me up, made me really. Because once you get on the phone, especially you talking to somebody that, you know, you enjoy talking to, <laughs> it's like, I got time. I got time. No, you don't. And that's exactly where I messed up at, thinking I had time. It really wasn't even my hair. Because it was like 6 o'clock. I had it to be where I needed to be at 8. It was like 6 something here. I definitely could have needed it on time. But anyways, after I do all of that, I'm going to take this wrap strip and just wrap down my hair. Just so that, you know, it can melt and bond and just meet my skin. And then like my skin and then marry my skin. My hair is not done. Not cheating Huh? I'm not gonna push it in me. Don't worry about all that. It's like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Mmm. Real smiley looking. Anyways. Now I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm just pushing all of that hair, like pushing it back, but giving myself a lift. If you know me, then you know I like my hair to the heavens. The high ones. Okay? There's something wrong with me. But yeah, I'm just taking my hot comb. I'm just pushing all the hair back. Um, I didn't think I was going to do a definite part, but, you know, y'all will see. So here I'm just spraying my got to be so that that lift can stay after I apply this heat, okay? Because, you know, sometimes hair don't want to stay up by itself, and that's okay. So yeah, I'm just going to run my red tail comb through after I do that. And it's going to, you know, obviously hold because that's what this hair stuff does. Really good at that. You see that? It looks so, looks so good. Just so pulled back and good. And I'm just gonna take it and just apply just a little bit more heat, um, just to solidify that lift. Okay, make sure it's permanent. So after I'm done with my lift and it's to my like, and I'm just gonna take this Garnier Sleek and Shine Serum, and I'm just gonna put this all over the hair, all up and through the hair. Um, I love this stuff. It's super duper inexpensive, and it's very lightweight. I like that it doesn't weigh down my hair at all like any of them even my real hair it doesn't weigh down my real hair and it's really good child i was rapping okay don't talk to me when nikki is playing don't talk to me but here i'm just going back and just fixing up my cut a little bit um i wanted this bob to be very blunt so i was just fixing up some of my bluntness and then i was putting in a part here so yeah and then i think after this i'm just gonna hot comb it so it's flat so I'm gonna shut up for just a little bit. 
So after pinning up my hair, I'm just going to go in with my flat iron and I'm just going to give my hair a nice little bump, okay? You don't want to bump the hair too much. You don't want a grandma bump. You just want a just right bump, right? You actually just want the ends to look nice and together, for real, for real. Like, you don't want, I, will, I don't know. If you want that, then you want that. I know I didn't want that. I wanted my ends to just look together. I didn't want my hair to be like C-curve. I just wasn't looking for that this day. So, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch me do that. I think everybody knows how to do a nice little flattening bump, you know, pressing bump. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, after I was done feeling myself and done pressing out this hair, I was really feeling myself here, child. So I'm just going to spray down my flyaways and comb them down real quick. And I feel like you can see the color really good right now. Well, you're going to see it really, really good when I show you. But yeah, taking off my strip, um, here goes the hair. This hair, one thing I be doing is my hair, okay? I be, I be doing it. So, mm -hmm. so here I'm just going to go and I'm just going to take my night ride with my whoa sorry my nairobi mousse i didn't show y'all because i was so into the song but i'm taking my nairobi mousse because i'm going to lay down my baby hairs um i'm also going to just go through and cut some pieces that you know just wasn't fitting because this is a reinstall it's a re-reinstall actually because this is my third time reinstalling this hair so yeah but i'm just going to take these two parts and flat iron them i don't think that i flat ironed all of them um, I don't think I did. I think I just did those two parts because um, I thought I was going to do my baby hairs like this, but then I changed my mind. So, yeah, these parts on this side got the flat iron and the got to be spray. And then I think everything else got the Nairobi mousse. And then later on down the line, even this got the Nairobi mousse. So, yeah. <laughs> don't get me wrong i think that the you know the trendy baby hairs are definitely super duper cute like adorable and plus you know it's nothing new under the sun i know people have been doing it but at the same time i really don't think any type of baby hair when it comes to like lace fronts and stuff i don't think any type of baby hairs really beat the the nairobi set ones like for me personally nothing does it like may maybe it's because i'm not doing the flat iron ones right maybe if i was doing the flat iron ones right i would you know be transcended into the trend but i don't know like the old-fashioned is that even old-fashioned can i even call that old-fashioned but the old-fashioned just nairobi moose baby hairs really did it for me and then you comb them out then i like that but yeah i'm gonna let y'all go back to watching me do my baby hairs <laughs> Thank you.
my finishing spray i'm just gonna take the sebastian shaper one of my favorites for this and i didn't want to take my got to be just because i was going to put this all over my hair and i didn't want it to be too too harsh of a hold so yeah i wanted a whole well not really here because oh my god not me jamming girl it was never that serious stop it not right here particularly as in like my harsh hold i was talking about but i'm talking about when i put it like all over my hair but yeah y'all truth be told i'm almost finished like the style so i'm just gonna go in right here and just like flatten out a couple pieces yeah i was really i'm very detail oriented these days maybe it's because i'm getting old i like that though but yes so here i just went through and put some like dark brown powder this is what i was talking about i use this because i want to keep that same like you see how the hair is flinging moving i want to keep that but i still want it to be tamed but anyway like i was saying um i added some powder in the front so it didn't look like it was balding and i am finished you guys y'all are gonna see me change and i am going to be done thank you so much for watching this video and staying to the end i love you so much Oh, 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 oh,